Hey there, Tiffany Thomas with WealthyTiffany.com and in today's video we are going to be talking about an HSA and whether or not you should have one. And just by way of introduction, I help individuals become financially free through wealth building strategies. And one of the ways that you can build wealth is through an HSA. So let's dive right in and talk about it. So what exactly is an HSA? It is a health savings account. And it's actually different from an FSA, a flex spending account. A lot of people get those confused. So today we're talking about an HSA, which is gonna be different from your FSA. So an HSA is a way to have you pay for your medical expenses tax-free. And you can also invest your money and, and have it be tax-free as well when you have an HSA. And I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more later in the video. The amount that you can invest in an HSA or that you can deposit into an HSA is 3,450 if you're single. And if you have a family or if you're married, then it is $6,850 per year. And those are the maximums for 2018. And you can also take out that money that you have put into your HSA and if you are less than 65, so if you're under the age 65, um, you can still take out that money that you've put in, but there will be a 20% penalty that you'll have to pay, and you'll also have to pay taxes on it. But if you are over 65, then you will only have to pay taxes. There won't be a penalty to take that money out of your HSA. Um, and you can also keep an HSA forever if you wanted to, which is totally different from an FSA where that one is, you have to use it or lose it usually within a year. But with an HSA, it is your account and you can continue to add that 3,450 each year and not take it out if you don't want to. So you could keep it forever and you can actually leave it to your spouse or to a different beneficiary or um, to your estate. And they, depending on who you leave it to, um, they may have to pay taxes on it, but it's just a really good way to leave something for your family or um, for a certain beneficiary. Um, so that's kind of just a quick overview of what an HSA is. It's kind of like a 401k, but for a health savings account. So you're actually paying medical expenses with your HSA. So let me explain how it works. So what you'll do is you'll deposit money into your HSA, into your health savings account, and this money will be considered tax-free. And you'll just deposit money in there, and then you can choose to be reimbursed for medical expenses that you'll have throughout the year. Um, or you can just keep that money in there and you can actually invest that money in the stock market and this is all tax-free and it will grow tax-free and when you take it out, if it's used for medical expenses, then it will be taken out tax-free, um, which is super great because we wanna save as much money as possible. So if we can save on taxes, that is awesome. Um, and then you can have a debit card associated with your HSA so anytime you do have a medical expense that you want to pay for immediately, then you can use your debit card for your HSA and just go ahead and pay for that medical expense immediately. Um, and then you won't have to be, you won't have to worry about getting reimbursed for that later on. Um, and you can also upload all of your receipts into your HSA account. And this way it keeps track of all of them for you. So you don't have to keep hard copies and worry about trying to find them later, especially if you are going to um, not be reimbursed that year for any medical expenses that you might have. So you can keep all of your receipts um, and just upload them into your HSA. And then years later, when you want to be reimbursed for them, then you can go ahead and you'll just have the receipt in there and you can get reimbursed um, right in your account. So it's super easy to use. Let's talk about eligibility. Are you eligible for an HSA? So if you have a, what's, it's a qualified high deductible insurance plan, um, then you would qualify for an HSA. 
and the deductible has to be at least 1350 if you are single and 2700 if you are if you have a family or if you're married if there's two of you um, and your plan has to say HSA qualified on there there's a few other you know restrictions um, and you can actually go to finder.healthcare.gov and see if your plan is HSA qualified um, if you can't find your paperwork for your plan uh, so that's one way to do it finder.healthcare.gov and you also can't have a current medical plan already this is this would replace your medical plan um, and you can't be considered a dependent and also you cannot have you cannot be getting Medicare or Medicaid um, and you can't have an FSA um, you, there's some limited FSAs that you could have, but in general, you can't have an FSA, FSA. So the HSA would be your complete healthcare plan. Now, let me talk about where you could set up your HSA account. I actually use Lively, and the reason I use Lively is because they do not charge a monthly fee to have an HSA. So if you are just planning on getting reimbursed for your medical expenses each year, um, Lively is a great option because a lot of the other providers, they charge a monthly fee just to have the HSA. Lively also offers the opportunity to invest in the stock market and they do charge a monthly fee for this. It's $2.50, which isn't bad if you are just letting your money grow in the stock market anyway. Um, and the, um, other providers, I think all of them actually charge for the investing part of the HSA, if they even offer that. A lot of them don't offer that. So when you're searching for where to set up your HSA, make sure and um, look to see if they have an option for you to invest in, your, in the stock market, um, because that is one way that we are going to build our wealth. We are going to use this money that we're putting into our health savings account and then we're going to invest that in the stock market and just leave it over, leave it in there over time. And especially if you don't have a lot of medical expenses while you're young, this is such a great option um, because you can keep it in there as long as you want to. It's not a use it or lose it. You can just roll it over each year and all you have to do with Lively, they let you upload your receipts even if you're not ready to be reimbursed for the amount. So you can keep your receipts in there for years and years. So if you didn't want to get reimbursed until you were 65, um, then you can just keep those keep those receipts in there and then get reimbursed when you're 65 for those So, you know, usually you'll have a lot more medical expenses when you get older So having an HSA is a great way to help you minimize your costs because you're actually able to invest this money in the stock market and it will be tax-free when you take it out when you use it for a medical expense um, and like we talked about earlier if you are not using it for a medical expense um, and you're under 65, you will have to pay that 20% penalty plus your taxes. But if you're over 65, then you'll just have to pay the taxes. So if you're worried about maybe you won't have to um, use all of that money for medical expenses, you can still pull it out and just pay the taxes. Um, so it's still a really good option for you to be able to you know, build your wealth because all of that money is growing tax-free um, if you do get reimbursed for your medical expenses. Um, and also, with Lively, they provide a free debit card, um, so you can get reimbursed immediately. You can just use your debit card. So some of the accounts charge for a debit card, so you want to make sure and look at all of the different fees um, when you're looking for an HSA um, and that's, yeah, those are some of the main reasons I went with Lively and it's very easy to use. Their website is very user friendly. Um, so hopefully this kind of gives you an overview on an HSA. And, you know, just to, to add this other point, you know, when I was thinking about setting up an HSA, I thought, well, I don't know if I really have the money to put into the HSA right now. Um, but where it's a free plan, if you use Lively, you're not paying a monthly fee. Um, just to use their their regular plan without investing um, and you know and that way the money is tax-free and any medical expenses that you'll have throughout the year then you can get reimbursed for that and it is tax-free so if you're planning on going to the dentist or you know the eye doctor maybe you need some contacts or something 
Um, so any sort of medical expenses like that that, will, that you'll normally have throughout the year, you can use your HSA to pay for those. Um, so, and it will all be tax free. So it is a great way to build wealth um, because you can also invest in the stock market as well. Um, so you guys, I want to know if you have other questions about an HSA or if you are going to set up your own HSA, comment below and tell me um, if you do have questions or where you're going to set up your HSA. And also, I did a tutorial video on setting up an HSA at Lively. Um, so you can check out that video on my channel. And you guys, if this was helpful, please like the video and share it. And if you want to get notified of when I am creating more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Um, that would be super helpful. And I will talk to you guys soon. All right, thanks.